Okay, yesterday I was, um, I was outside of Circle K on North Hover. I was out there with my gas can and a cool guy, he like, he drove up to the gas station, he waved me over and he, uh, we had a conversation and it's one of the guys that I used to go to church with over in Calvary. His name's Chip. And um, we talked about a whole bunch of things and where we're at and what, what's been happening and how God uh, affects our lives and shows up in mysterious ways. And um, it was awesome. He gave me a little bit of money and then he filled my gas can up and... Uh, and then I went over to my car, and then he pulls up to my car. He's like, I'll fill your car up, too, for you, man. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, I'll fill your car up for you. And I'm like, my car hasn't had a full tank of gas, like, since I've owned it. So not only did he fill up my gas can, gave me a little bit of money, too, he filled up my car. And then, guess what happened next? I drove around town a little bit, and then I was contemplating heading down to Denver because I have a new job starting down there. And uh, and all of a sudden, my car starts to sputter, and I'm like, Chip just filled up the gas tank. How's it sputtering? So then I tap the tank and it's like bone dry. So somebody yesterday between, I don't know, what was it? 9 or 10 a.m. And uh, 3 o'clock siphoned all the gas out of my car. So look what I did. I'm going to show you this. It's pretty cool. I put... I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of low light, but I put a uh, paintable target on it to seal the cap area, and I'm going to continue on to continue to do that because um, I want my gas to stay in the tank. So, just a little suggestion. Some people say go buy a locking gas cap, but that's extra expense. I had targets in the trunk. Why not use a target? <laughs>